Tracy Jones here. We are now going to cover the use of the Casio FX260 calculator. Use for calculations with decimals. Uh, make sure that your calculator is in the degrees mode as always. As far as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of decimal numbers, it'll work like any other calculator. Um, this calculator has a couple other features though. One of them is the simplification and conversion of fractions. If you have a fraction of say 13 sixteenths and you want the decimal equivalent once you have input the fraction, the 13 sixteenths, hit equals hit the ABC key again and it will give you the decimal equivalent of the fraction. So the 13 sixteenths comes out to be 812 thousandths and 5 tenths. Now, we'll clear that out. If you want to have a fixed number of decimal places, in other words if you want all of your calculations to come out to a specific number of decimal places we can do that as well. To do that we will use the mode 7 which is the fix mode which if you look right here on the mode list you look at number 7 has the letters FIX which is the fix mode so if we wanted all of our answers to come out to three decimal places we would hit mode and you notice the little word mode comes up on the screen seven and then we will enter the number of decimal places we want which would be three now up on the top of the screen you'll have the little letters FIX come up telling you that there has been a decimal place fixed any any calculations you make no matter how many decimal places you put in will always come out with three because that's how many we put in if you want to remove that mode 9 which is the normal mode and that removes the fix so if we wanted four decimal places mode 7 4 all of our answers will now come out to four decimal places you can select as many decimal places as you need and you can also turn them back off by the mode 9 which is the normal mode 